What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for the final week of Halloween month, I have actually decided to share with you guys a couple of stories that I didn't think I was actually gonna share with the world, but I think what better time to share it than right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I think this video might be slightly on the longer side and I don't wanna bore you guys. Not a lot of people know that I actually grew up in a haunted home, at least for I think the first six to seven years of my life. So I don't personally remember 99% of the things that ever happened before I was seven in that house, except for the little moments that my parents have captured on our um, home videos. So when I was a kid, I actually lived with besides my sister, my parents, we also had grandparents, aunts, and uncles in there. So it was like a house that kind of just kept our entire family in one place at the time. My dog is snoring. But anyways, apparently I didn't find this out until like I was much older and I was no longer in that house that my mom has told me that I have seen a little girl spirit in our playroom because we had a little area with like ball pits and like tables and things for kids to play with basically. And I told her one day that there was a little girl in that room and I don't know, I guess it freaked her out. But then later on, I found out that my grandma and my dad has seen such a spirit roaming around the hallway, in the kitchen. Like you'll see them and then they'll disappear. And it was like a little girl, I guess they were saying like maybe around the age of six or seven, wearing like a floral dress. They've only seen like the back. They've never really seen the face or anything. So I personally don't remember, but anyways, that's my background. But anyways, ever since then, we've basically like, my family, we like don't live with the grandparents and aunts and uncles anymore, but we have moved to homes since that haunted home. I haven't really like, oh my gosh, I have like a little bit of the chills right now, but within that time, I haven't really experienced a lot of paranormal activities. No more like creepy things happening, no more like, you know, just seeing things or things falling, things being, you know, moved around by who knows what type of energy. Until recently, these past like, I don't remember like maybe few years, but I'm not telling them in order because I want to save the one that scared me the most for last. So if you want to just hear that one, you can also just skip ahead. Yeah, I think we're gonna start with the first story and we'll start now. The seahorse. What is the seahorse? I don't know how many of you have had one of those like plush toys that has like a button inside. Um, I got this one from Gap, I think when I was like either eight or 10 or somewhere around that age. And there's like a, an actual button inside. So you need to actually click it and it goes so it makes like a button sound and then it makes like underwater bubbly noises. So because I've had that for so long, I didn't want to throw it out. And when we got Bibu, she was playing with it for her first few years. Honestly, by that time, the battery has already died, but I never threw that toy out. And so I have this bed that has like drawers under the bed. So I kept it in there in the top one. It's under my head, it's right under my head. So one of the days I was laying in bed on my phone and suddenly I heard the bubbly sound go off. And remember, this is a couple year old toy that has a button that needs to be physically pushed on to make that sound. And it's in a drawer. I was like, huh, I must be dreaming. And then it goes off again. And then at that point, I was like, okay, this is a little scary. Where is that? And I don't remember where it was. And I started looking for like the drawer next to my bed. And then I looked under there and I was like, it's right there. I was like, okay, maybe it just like, I don't know, something happened and it like hit the thing next to it and it made it go off. But no, I pressed the button and there's no batteries. I pressed it like five to six times and it didn't go off. So one, the battery's dead. Two, the seahorse is put away under the drawer. And three, you need to physically push the button for it to make sound. Yeah, I creeped out. I called my mom and she was like, you might want to throw that out. And I was like, okay. And then she calls me right back and says, actually don't throw it out. It might anger whatever is playing with it. And so she was like, just put it in my room for now. So I think if she didn't throw it out, it's still in her room. But 
then she came home, checked on it, and nothing happened. And even till this day, she has never once heard it go off. But then Ali told me it went off. She heard it go off a couple of times in their room. So don't know if it's still there. I might check later, but I'm gonna wait till my sister comes home before I check because I'm getting the chills. But anyways, so that was the seahorse story. It's similar to like the cat ball that you keep seeing like Anyways, this is the seahorse story. Okay, white blob. This one unfortunately happened in this very home that I am sitting at right now, that I am living in right now. We have a door and then a curved stairway takes you down to the trash bins and the garage. One of the nights earlier this year, I believe, because it was very recent, I was taking out the trash and I opened up this door put on my shoes, and honestly, immediately, it kind of just felt cold, but I didn't really think of anything. I was holding the trash, I looked down to put on my shoes, I look up and down towards the stairs, and immediately I saw like this white figure, which seems like, not it's not really tall, it's almost like, once again, a little girl. It kind of basically just rushed down, took a turn, and disappeared. It's almost like, I don't know how to describe it, but I was feeling things at the moment. I was like, I was scared and feeling things. I was scared telling myself, pretend like nothing happened, don't acknowledge it. Don't like, you know, just don't do anything. Don't look scared. Don't just turn back and run. Just take the trash out and go back upstairs ASAP. And so that's what I did. In the moments when I saw the figure, so I turned around after I threw the trash and walked back up and my back, like my spine was just icy cold because there's another turn that takes you to the garage. And I didn't look back. I was afraid to look back because I felt somebody, it's almost like you can feel somebody like popping their head over the corner or like, you know, the corner of like a wall to stare at you. And so I was feeling like I was being watched as I was going up the stairs. I walked up, I shut the door and I immediately just ran and told my mom. I was like, guess what I just saw? And yeah, but anyways, my, this is a very short story I would say, but also I haven't seen one since I was maybe three, four or five, maybe three or four. So it's been like 20 plus years and then I see one again, you know? So it can get a little scary. I'm just hoping it's not the same one because that could possibly mean an attachment. Now I'm ready, I guess, to tell you the scariest encounter I have ever had in my life so far. And I hope I won't have any more of those. <laughs> Story number three, scariest encounter I've ever had in my life. Hopefully I won't have any more of these but it's a little bit of a long story and there's a little bit of details that I feel like I shouldn't miss. So I do have like a little cheat sheet on my phone that I made, but let me just, I'm going to draw you guys a quick, simple map to help you guys better understand a little bit. If you guys have watched my Who Knows Me Better video, you might know that I don't only have one job and that I have a couple. So I do like performance things and I also have a, more regular job as a researcher. I'm in the research building, not exactly in the hospital building, which is like a block to two away actually. So the building itself is really nice. The bathrooms are really dark. And this basically, so it looks really small, but actually this from here to here is like a street distance, a street length distance. So here is where I was working. This is where my, my other workspace is otherwise my workspace is here but anyways so this is where my workspace is and this is a bathroom i really hope you guys can see the bathroom the workspace there's actually another bathroom like and there's actually a bathroom on this side too so i don't use this bathroom just because it smells all the time so i take the further bathroom and this one is like not even close to the end of the hall. Honestly, there's like another section of, you know, research labs in there. So I hope you have an idea of how far things are or like where everything kind of is. So day-to-day -day work at the lab is me working alone. So I always have my AirPods in. And I assume most of you know that once you pull out your headphone, if you have that setting on, if you pull it out, it pauses your music. 
and my daily go-to playlist is Chinese music. Keep in mind these details that I'm telling you right now because it's going to matter. I was alone in the room, I was working, and I just really had to use the bathroom. So I decided I'm gonna take off my headphones and let it charge in the case for a bit because I'm gonna be here for a bit and they're gonna die soon. So I took them out and I left them in the room. I left them in this workspace room right here. And then I also put down my phone and don't forget, the music paused itself in the middle of a Chinese song. And then I went to the bathroom and I was pretty sure my music was paused. I left my phone, everything in that room. I walked to the bathroom and when you walk into the bathroom, the first thing you'll notice is this big giant mirror. You have to walk past it to get to the stalls and there's like it's kind of dark in there, there's a lot of stalls, and there was nobody else in there. So I was actually already kind of creeped out. It didn't feel like anything was off at the time. Usually when I like am in a bathroom, especially when I'm alone in a dark bathroom, I do not let myself look into the mirror because, I don't know, I start thinking about all these random things and then like I scare myself. So I like usually won't look into a mirror, especially, you know, in a dark bathroom like that all by myself. I had to walk past it. I honestly could have looked away and just went through the door. And for some stupid reason, I decided to look into the mirror, not only just look into the mirror for a second, but I looked at myself walk as I passed by the mirror before I left the bathroom. And at that point, nothing was wrong. Nothing was off. I didn't think it was weird at the time that I was staring at myself walk past the mirror either, which was weird because usually I wouldn't do that. Like that's a big fat no-no for me. Like I don't do that because I just scare myself. But I go back to my workspace and I put my headphones back in and immediately the music comes back on, but it was not my music. Like it was, remember how I said I was listening to a Chinese song and it paused in between a Chinese song? It was playing in the middle. It was in the middle of an English song that I have no idea what song it was. Never in my life heard that song. So I got startled and I looked down at my phone. And guess what? The name of the song was Girl in the Mirror. So that scared me like so badly. Like at that time, I swiped out of Spotify, you know, like to completely exit the app super fast. And then I relaunched Spotify and guess what? Everything was back to normal. It was paused in the middle of the song that I paused at before I went to the bathroom. The music was playing fine. It wasn't louder or softer or anything that I remembered. Yeah, so basically that's what kind of happened. But either way, it shouldn't be doing that because like even in my like Apple music and things like that, I don't have, um, I don't have such a song and I was pretty sure that was Spotify when like even in the front I can see. Oh, my sister is back. But yeah, so that was maybe like a year-ish or two ago. And till this day, I do not use the bathroom at work. And if I do need to use the bathroom, I go all the way to the main hospital, which is like two blocks away. I'm also on the top floor, so it takes me like five to 10 minutes just to use the bathroom if I need to, because I there's no way I'm setting my foot in the bathrooms there ever again, unless it's an emergency. But anyways, that is the end of the stories. Very, very scary for me to experience. So I guess I wish you guys a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.